Hey Google, Jay Kilroy back in the shop um, <clears throat> with a quick little get her out project. All apologies to Bruce Whitman of uh, Australia, the father of the get her out. Uh, this is a pathetically um, simple one compared to some of the stuff that he has brought home. But what I have here is I've got some aluminum standoffs. Uh, these are four inches. They're 5.8 aluminum hex, 6061 hex, and they're tapped, drilled and tapped, quarter by 20 on both ends. Um, the hole does not extend through. And um, so three of these here <coughs> are well populated with quarter inch bolts. Um, and I, you can tell why. So I'll hold this up to the camera here in a second. Um, but um, right here, right around this little edge, you can just make out red. As in red Loctite. And... Um, uh, I can see some in here in these holes that don't have bolts in them. I can see powder residue um, of red Loctite. Not that one, this one, yeah. So, yeah. Um, red Loctite was used with um, quarter inch, quarter by 20 bolt. Uh, they do appear, by looking at the end here, it does appear to be a stainless, I mean, uh, Excuse me, it does appear to be a regular steel bolt, like a zinc coated, uh, low grade, you know, fastener. So uh, I know the application for these and it was extremely low uh, load. So appropriate fastener for the application, but um, the red Loctite uh, might have been a bit much. Um, if you ever look on the package for red Loctite, um, they give you warnings about you know, how difficult it's going to be to disassemble and uh, flat out discourage you from using them, using red Loctite on smaller fasteners um, because it, you know, you're just going to shear them off. So anyway, we got three of these to get out. We're going to do it in the rivet here behind me. Um, I need to change out the collet chuck for uh, the three jaw, which is perfect for holding hex stock. And uh, then we're going to proceed. So let me go ahead and get moved over there and we will get with it. Oh, this ticks me off. Let's see if you can figure it out. Yeah, that's right. I sat down and somehow powered off my remote mic, which really burns my ass. Anyway, let's catch up. I'm showing you the end of these bolts right here because you see the ends of the bolts are all rough. I can't get a drill to start down the center on down on top of one of those things for nothing. So we got the third one in the lathe chuck and I've got a little bitty 330 seconds carbide three flute end mill in the drill chuck here. Yeah, I know it's a drill chuck. Just relax. I'm going to turn the lathe on here in a second. And we're going to spin it up to about 1500. Actually, I'm going to hit the wrong buttons a couple of times while I, while I reversed it. Oh, oh, back to forward. Okay. Nope. Oh, wrong button. Oh, there we go. Right button. There we go. Spin it on up. Get some speed going here. And um, then we're just going to touch off on the face with this little bitty carbide end mill. And... Um, Let's see, touch, boom, oh, just, just doing it easy the first time. I want to make sure I don't blow the little thing to pieces. Ah, looking good. You can even see a little bitty dimple in there where I uh, got a flat spot on there. So I'm explaining that, you know, grandiose pros, uh, you know, fantastic, whatever. Uh, 
Look for my chuck key. Look for my chuck key. Is that a lifestyle or what? So we're going to take the little bitty tiny. I pinched my hand on the chuck key and that sucked. Um, I'm really not enjoying it. I'm going to pull the little bitty end mill out. And we're going to look around for a center drill. Now I'm only going to do this once because you'll see why later. <coughs> I don't really need to. The drill I'm going to use, center drilling is not necessary. So, um, But we're going to do it this first time anyway. There's no kill like overkill. Uh, we're still in a direct drive. We're going to... Uh, Roll up here and get a little A-bomb approved lube. And just touch off on this chintzy bolt. There we go. That's about that. I'm slowing it down right now to about a thousand RPM before I drop the... Uh, before I drop the drill bit in here. Going to pull the center drill back out. That's the last time you'll see that offensive little monster in this video. All right, we're chucking up a solid carbide number seven stubby. And... We got the RPM on the lathe slowed down to about a thousand. Not that that would matter. You could speed it up to four thousand with this drill bit. Would not matter. And uh, we're going to get some A bomb approved lube, and we're going to fire this baby up. Ah, uh, again, marvelous commentary. Lubomatic. We're going to feed this baby on in. Now, this is the tap size for a quarter by 20. So, it is going to drill out the vast majority of the bolt, all the bolt, and it's going to just barely, barely, barely touch the tops, the crests of the thread. So, we're going to clean it off here a little bit. You can probably see that white powdery residue, a little of that white powdery residue from the Loctite as well. The reason I don't need to use a center drill is because I'm using this little stubby drill. So in the future, the future ones, I'm not going to center drill it. <coughs> Still going to hit it with that little um, uh, end mill to get a flat spot on it. And then I'm just going to go straight in with this uh, number seven solid carbide. All right, what we're doing now here is we're taking that number seven drill out. And we're going to drop a quarter by 20 uh, tap in here this is a uh, spiral flute tap and we're going to clean up the threads uh, clean out any junk up in there we're going to get the machine over in double back gear which without touching the throttle will take us from about a thousand RPM to about 50 and uh, we're gonna need a little a bomb approved lube oh don't spare the lube fellas and um, then uh, we're just gonna feed it in you notice my fingers over there it's on the reverse button so we're gonna feed it in and then boom just hit reverse you notice the carriage is moving I just have the carriage loose, and the threading action of the tap is just pushing the carriage back and forth, pulling the carriage forward, pushing the carriage back. So forward the um, laid back around, go ahead and kill the power, and now i got to get some, find my compressed air so I can clean that off and thread a bolt into it. All right, so blew out the... Um, uh, the standoff and we're going to test it 
and uh, pretty good there. So we've got one down, two to go.